Good morning, Lionhearts. It's your old pal, Jordan the Lion. How are you all doing today? Good. I'm doing great. Today we're going to do something a little different than usual. Today we're in Houston, Texas, and we're going to see one of the darker sides of Houston, Texas. Look right behind me where we are. That's right. We are at the National Museum of Funeral History. Days with Jordan the Lion. It begins right now. And it's also the American Funeral Service Museum, American Funeral Service Training Center, and Commonwealth Institute of Funeral Services. And here we go. People in the museum said that he can go in too. Can you believe it? You're going to the funeral museum. They actually wanted to meet him. <laughs> I'm gonna welcome you here with you. Business card holder. Yeah. I'm gonna have to get one of these on the way out. The cremator. Take a look at all this. This is all presidential. I see a lot of vehicles. This ought to be great. As this is the presidential funeral hearse, 2003. President Ronald Reagan had his funeral in it. President Gerald Ford in 2006. I remember both of those. Those are both. I remember working and hearing it. Ronald Reagan had passed away, and his presidential museum's not too far from where I lived, so been to his burial place, and that's the hearse that would have taken his body to its final resting place. And there's even inside, look at that. This is remembering the funeral of George and Barbara Bush. That's the program from George Bush's funeral. President Bush's library is actually here in Houston as well. We're not gonna be able to do it on this trip, but this is showing the uh, Naval chaplain's uniform and the reverend who participated in the funerals. And that's showing their final resting place. Now inside this case there's a black fabric covering for the caskets and it says it was used in the funerals of Lady Bird Johnson, Betty Ford, Nancy Reagan, Barbara Bush, George H.W. Bush, and Gerald Ford. And here's an Abraham Lincoln exhibit. All the faces of Abraham Lincoln. The different looks. Young Abe. To bearded Abe. That's for General Grant. Portrait of Abe Lincoln made out of pennies. Check out some more of the presidential funerals. Oh, wow. That's Abraham Lincoln flying in state. It's talking about the embalming of President Lincoln. It says around 9 a.m. the body of Mr. Lincoln was removed to the upstairs bedroom in the executive mansion where Henry Cattell, an embalmer in the employ of Dr. Brown and Alexander proceeded with the embalming process. Prior, a cranial post-mortem examination was performed to retrieve the single bullet which was caused the president's death. There's a replica of his death mask. And here we have a model of the Lincoln funeral train taking his casket. Then this says that John Wilkes Booth entered the presidential box and fired the fatal shot from a muzzle similar to this one. Single shot 44 caliber Derringer. 
bullet entered Lincoln's head behind the left ear. And that's the badge that was worn at Abraham Lincoln's funeral. Here's more on Ronald Reagan's funeral. These are cavalry boots worn at the funeral of President Reagan. That was the last motorcade flag attached to the fender, the hearse carrying the president to his Reagan Presidential Library. It says this distinctive solid mahogany casket is the same model and style used for Ronald Reagan's funeral. 700 masterpiece mahogany casket is made from the world's finest mahogany and was hand rubbed to achieve the high gloss finish by Marcellus Casket Company. The interior is rose tan velvet with the weight of the casket over 500 pounds. And then it says this solid mahogany casket, the same model style used for the funeral of John F. Kennedy, President Kennedy. President's mahogany casket is round and shell design with a Georgetown stain that is hand rubbed to achieve the high gloss finish by the same Marcellus Casket Company. The interior is pearl velvet and the weight of the casket is 400 pounds. Same style of casket was also used for the funerals of President Richard Nixon, Pat Nixon, and Jacqueline Onassis Kennedy. Here we see the original President John F. Kennedy Eternal Flame. It's the original element used at the President's gravesite from 1967 to 68. Nice. It says the hoses attached to the element were connected to the gas lines that created a continuous flow of gas to the torch. This continuous flow of gas kept the flame from ever going out. Courtesy of Arlington National Cemetery. And that's part of the original granite stone in the grave of John F. Kennedy and Jacqueline. And the heartbreaking services of watching the family watch him be laid to rest. That's a model of President John F. Kennedy's funeral. Here we have George Washington and they have a copy of his eulogy and on the left a copy of his funeral bill. Wow, look at that. That's the embalming machine used to embalm the body of President Harry S. Truman. Wow, isn't that crazy? And this case is dedicated to President Dwight D. Eisenhower and it says that this casing was discharged during the military salute honoring him. And check this out, it says 1938 Henny Packard flower car, 1938 Henny Motor Company of Free or Illinois became America's exclusive supplier of professional vehicles on the Packard commercial line. Look at that. Wow, that's pretty cool, actually. You load them in that way. This is showing the casket making process during the time of Woodrow Wilson. from the Marcellus Casket Company. Here's some old corroded casket pieces. And take a look at that, that's called the money casket. I wonder if Gene Simmons is gonna be buried in that. Look at that. <laughs> Currently displays $643 in uncirculated coins and bills. At one point held a thousand in currency. And then this is a casket for three. Just in case a whole family wants to be buried together after an accident or something. Wow, that is big. Ooh, take a look at that. 1921 Rock Falls Hearse. Wow, that is cool. 
Look at all that. That is so cool. There's the driver's side. Here's an 1800s horse-drawn sleigh. Then over here, we have the 1929 Studebaker Superior Hearse. Let's check out a little bit of International Hall. Japanese ceremonial hearse. I love the way they laid this out. Day of the Dead celebrations. And then over here we have the hearse that was used for the funeral of Princess Grace of Monaco, Grace Kelly. Funeral procession of Princess Grace went from the castle to the cathedral with her coffin being carried by penitents on the ceremonial platform. Princess Grace was buried in a crypt belonging to the Grimaldi's family inside the cathedral. Huh. I wonder why, or I mean, that's just kind of a strange thing to make its way from Monaco over to here, I think, in my opinion, but interesting to see nonetheless. Our casket would have went inside of there. And then we were looking at the Dia de los Muertes. They have a little Mexican cemetery in here. Now look at these various other types of hearses from around the world. Some don't look all that different. You know, this doesn't look all that different really. But then you get to stuff like this. <laughs> these interesting coffins, these unique one-of-a-kind coffins that people wanted to be buried in. A Yamaha boat motor, a fish, a crab casket back here. Look at that. Two of them. The chicken. I mean, it's pretty nuts what people... I mean, not nuts, but interesting. And a bunch of them down here. That's an 1860 hearse. This shows how they inter the people in St. Peter's Basilica. Here you can see they recreated Pope John Paul's. I've actually been to that. I've been to his. He didn't even want to be buried there, as a matter of fact. Look at this. Preparing the Pope for funeral. Then you continue on, and in the next room, they show Pope John Paul laying in state. Here they have photos of the actual event. There you can see. Then we'll follow this. Very interesting museum. I love the way it's laid out.
Pope Benedict. Here's the history of cremation. This has a crematory in here. So you can see how it happens. I don't know about you, I don't think I'm up for the cremation. I don't know. I don't think that's the way I wanna go. It makes me think of Return of the Living Dead. So burn, burn the flames. And they have a bunch of different urns. This is showing how Wilbert Haas created this. This glowing, levitating, look at that. Wow, that's a funeral bus. Never heard of that. A funeral bus? Oh, George Barris, a George Barris casket. What the heck? That's kind of nuts, never seen that before. There's Grandpa Munster's Dragula. King of Customs, Barris Custom. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> it's even got the Batmobile features to it. That's all Barris memorabilia. I have that same thing, that signed car. I got it at his garage sale. I'll take a look at that. That's cool. Now they have a celebrity section. We should definitely check that out and see what they have. Thanks for the memories. Oh, Charlie Daniels fiddle. That's very cool. Signed by Charlie. There it's signed. This says corner of Munchkin land. And it has a death certificate down here. And it says here that this costume is an exact replica worn by Meinhard Reb as the corner of Munchkin Land and the Wizard of Oz. Very interesting, look at that. And then there is the man himself. And it says he became Little Oscar, the world's smallest chef in the Oscar Mayer Wiener commercials. Oh, there you can see some celebrities, Jose Fernandez, Roger Maris, Moses Malone, great John Wooden. Oh, that's great. Look at that. There's a section dedicated to Paul Bearer. <laughs> the Undertaker's manager. Percy Pringle was his real name. Or, I mean, that was his character name. His real name was William Moody. Bill Moody. Smoking Joe Frazier. Bob Evans. Jerry Lewis. Glenn Campbell. Oh, there's Pat Paulson. I loved him in Night Patrol. Jim Henson. Charles Foley, the creator of Twister. Marlboro Black. Anthony Quinn. David Nelson. Sherwood Schwartz from Brady Bunch production. Roy Rogers, Dale Evans. Here you can see a Kobe tribute with a t-shirt in here of he and his daughter. They both perished on that helicopter. Jack LaLanne is now God's personal trainer. Buck Owens, Larry Hagman, JR. Here's one of Gene Wilder's Willy Wonka hats. Al Lewis, Grandpa Munster. Huh. Rodney Dangerfield's had one of his ties. That's kind of funny, they have one for Snow White. Here's something for Robin Williams. These are the shoes that he wore in the movie RV. His hiking boots. 
Oh, that's great. They have a tribute to famous animals and they're really highlighting Frank Inn. That's so good. We did a vlog on him in Los Angeles. He was one of the famous pet trainers. He trained Benji and Skippy the dog. He did the uh, breakfast at Tiffany's cat. He had uh, all the animals in the Beverly Hillbillies, Green Acres, all that stuff. Arnold the pig. Arnold Ziffel. There's Frank. This section's pretty interesting. It's gone too soon. They have a whole section here on the 27 Club. The curse of being 27. Musicians who all died at the age of 27 by precipitous lifestyles, it says. And then very well could be the most popular grave of all time, most visited grave. They have a replica of Marilyn's grave, which we have been to many times. Definitely need more lipstick prints on here if they want to make it authentic. And I noticed they did not put the names above or Mr. Hefner beside or below, but just Marilyn. Then this section is all Michael Jackson, which was an unprecedented, I mean, that one you had to submit to get a random drawing ticket to attend his funeral at Staples Center. They have one of the tickets and wristbands. Never had seen anything quite like that before. I had never had, anyway. Michael Jackson Memorial Service. Then right beside him, his friend Elizabeth Taylor. Tribute to her. And of course, they have a mention of Elvis's passing. And these are all different years of hearses used throughout time. And I just noticed this section here for Firefighter's grave. As you can imagine, this was for 9 11. And on that note, I think we're going to call it a day for the funeral museum. Pretty cool experience. And a freaking heck of a lot of stuff to see. Well, my friends, we are going to call it a day. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed the National Museum of Funeral History. Have a great night. We'll see you all next time. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.